Hi guys. I just got hit by a truck. I just got into the worst fight ever. Just kidding. Hi guys, it's one of my favorite times of the year. It's the only time that I love looking ugly. It's Halloween. I'm very excited to share this video with you guys. It's gonna be one of my Halloween tutorials this month. I have another one planned. I don't know if I can make a third one with my limited amount of time. But hopefully I can pull off the second one I'm planning to share with you guys. My idea for my Halloween tutorials is that I wanted to use products that you guys probably already had in your makeup kits or lying around at home. So if you guys want to know how to look like this, like you got beat up or run over by a truck without getting beat up or getting run over by a truck, then please keep on watching. Okay, so for this tutorial, you can start out as made up or as bare-faced as you want. But I do recommend that you fill in your brows and apply at least like a few coats of mascara just so that your face won't get lost with all the makeup and the bruises and the bleeding. Because you know, you still want to shine through even if you're ugly. <laughs> anyway, okay, so let's get started. So we're gonna start with the bruises and for this tutorial, I think I'm gonna put, of course, a black eye. Then I definitely want like a bruise here and then the cut will be here. And I'm still figuring out if I want a bruise here. Do you want a bruise here? Yeah, let's just go all out. It's Halloween. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just apply a thin layer of MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot on all the areas that I wanna put a bruise on. So I want the bruise on my eye to kind of extend up to here just a bit so I'm just gonna apply that just a very thin even layer the paint pot will make sure that all the shadows you're gonna be using to create the fake bruise has something to cling on to cause if you're just using your bare skin then it may fade a lot quicker and you wouldn't want to look like your bruise is kind of melting off your face that's so weird so again i want like a bruise going on here and i'm just gonna apply this and yeah let's go all out i'm gonna put a bruise right here once you got your base on the fun part starts and it's literally the easiest thing in the world so what i have here is my doll face palette and what i love about this palette is that it has like all the colors you can possibly think of it's two layers it's nice because it has matte and shimmer colors but today we're just going to be using matte obviously because there is no such thing as a sparkly bruise like come on so what i'm going to be doing first is create a little bit of a yellow and green undertone to the black eye and just take note that this would be where like the exterior part of the bruise is because in the center it's more of like the bluish purplish reddish shade so just trust me it makes it more realistic i'm gonna take this green and you just want to put this in the exterior parts of the bruise so a bit here and I don't know just a bit here you can be as random as you want to be honest it's nice to use a fluffy brush for this just so that the color isn't so packed when it comes on you just want it to be like a hint of green okay and then I'm going to take like yellow and I'm just gonna put that near the green area as like a little overlapping and stuff. It just works, trust me. Okay, so you just wanna do this to the other areas where you're gonna be bruising. So again, green. And look, I'm not even thinking about it. I'm just like being sloppy. Not being sloppy, just like strategically making a mess. That's what we're doing. And we got one more over here. 
And what's nice is that you can really feel that it's gonna cling on to the paint pot that you put. What you're gonna do next, once you're done with the green and yellow, is you're gonna take the same brush and you're gonna add a very like dark brown color. Then you just wanna go all out with this. So for this part, I'm really going near my eye. And you really want to go over those greenish yellow parts. Till they're not so obviously green. What I like to do is like, I like to wet the brush a bit. And this is just gonna create like a little more intensity. But it's still pretty easy to blend. And I think I want a little more intensity like around my eyes. So again, I'm just gonna wet the brush and just dab more of the color. Then you wanna do the same to the other areas. So once you're done with the dark brown, we're gonna move on to just a little bit of purple. So I'm gonna use this really dark purple. With a super duper light hand, just add some purple areas. It really makes it all the more realistic. Just be strategic with where you place the purple. Purple here. And purple here. So the red is like the trickiest part because you don't want it to seem so bright. You just want it to look real enough that you know your skin got irritated so a nice trick would be to pat on the red instead of like swirling it on and lastly you just want to take like a smaller brush and dip this into black just any black eyeshadow and that's what you're gonna use to really intensify certain areas so definitely around the eye and you want to get as close to your lash line as possible and if that does look like it's too much you could always just blend it out or add a little more purple so it becomes more realistic so that's about it for the bruising and as you can see, it looks pretty intense. So to take it a step further, because you know, we're dramatic like that. What I want to do now is add a little cut on the lip. You'll already probably have some of the products that I'll be using. And it's really easy to just improvise. Like, I just improvised to do this. So the first thing you're going to be needing is a pot of um, lip balm that has like a deep red tint. So something like this. This is from Majorca Majorca. And... You're gonna scrape some of it out. Let me zoom you in. What it's gonna do is kind of add the texture we need. Because we want it to look like there's a little bit of skin flapping out. So having this on will make your wound look a little more 3D. So yeah, that should feel really thick. Then the next thing you're gonna do is take a darker red. This dark red lipstick is Dark Side from MAC, one of my favorites. And you're gonna slowly make the middle part where your cut will actually be darker than the rest. Because dried blood is a lot darker than fresh blood, so you want the little middle part to be a little more dry already. And taking another brush, you're just gonna dip that into black eyeshadow. And you want to slowly pat this on where your wound should go. And it may take a couple of layers for the black to really like come through. Just because you have so much liquid product on. But it looks good. Then lastly, you want to go over the black part again with your lip balm. for a little more texture and to make the appearance of like fresh juicy blood take a deep red lip gloss this is from MAC 
and just go over that and make that drip down and just one last tiny hint of black so that is the cut on your lip done and I look terrible <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed my short tutorial for Halloween and if you guys have any questions or concerns you know where to find me for a full list of products that I use just check the description box and I'll also be blogging about it at legendary.com thank you for watching